Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this is part two in a five-part series. And we're just animating and working with the camera in Toon Boom Animate. And what I want to do on this part is kind of start working with our angles and uh, really pushing what we can do with uh, moving the camera. Now, if you're not familiar with how we got to this first part, let's take a look at what's happening here. So if you're not sure where we are, make sure to check out uh, part one. And what I'm going to do now, I want to clear our heads a wee bit here by going in. I'm going to start working on Let's make this look a little more, a little less confusing, if you will. So I'm going to turn off several of our layers here. And I want to go in and use our little black color here. And I'm just going to accent some of the little top lines here so we can see exactly what's going on. Again, I'm not trying to make this perfect right now because this is just uh, this is just us doing roughing out a sketch. Uh, you could almost look at it kind of like an animatic or actually not much more of an animatic. It's more of a pencil line. So I'm just trying to go in and so that way it's a little bit, a little more of a separation between what's happening on the different layers. So you can see better what's going on here. And let's go to our river layer. All right. And our foreground with our trees. And give us some nice little detail here. Of course, the closer something is, it's going to have more detail. Nice little pine trees or something. But I wanted this to look a little more, a little less confusing, if you will. Give some grass there. So yes, this is by no means complete, but let's go ahead and turn on all of our layers. Oh, I actually don't need my reference layer on. Let's go to select. Okay, that looks a little clearer. So if we play this now. Okay, so this is pretty much what we are going to be working with. Now, what we're going to do on this episode, episode, uh, part, something. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start playing around with what the camera can do as far as its angles. So I'm going to turn on our animate button and let's go back to our top view. And make sure our camera peg is selected. I'm going to zoom out here just a wee bit. Okay, and let's make sure I'm not moving anything I'm not supposed to. I want to select our camera angle so I can kind of move. We've already talked about just trucking in, kind of going forward. Uh, but what I want to do now. Make sure the camera is selected. And let's grab our translate from our advanced animation. So at this point in my camera view, I can pull this view way down. And if you note, our animate is on. So it basically means we're going to start from this point, but the point where it ends is everything is leveled back out. Okay.
So we can even start this from maybe a higher point. Okay, now you're really starting to see exactly what can go on. And because we have our clouds parented to the camera, they're just sitting exactly where they need to be. So I'm going to start this maybe from the very top. Let's play this. And this is not the, I guess the good idea for this is to make sure you have an idea of where you want to go because that looked very sloppy. Let's kind of uh, bring it a little more. Now we're going up and down. We can also go side to side. Okay. Now this is why we actually drew these um, a little bit longer so we can actually have a little more room to play around. And if you ever run to the point like, oh yeah, I really want, I like this shot here. You would just go in to that layer and draw the rest of that. We're not going to go that far. So what I do want to do is start with a nice shot here. Like we're just coming up over this clearing here. And that's where we're starting. So let's go to the end. And maybe we'll go a little bit further up. All right, so. So that's what's happening at this point. Now, let's play around a little bit more. And I'm going to come over to my top view here. And I'm going to do a quick command just so I can see visibly where the path is. I'm going to do command F11. It's control F11 on PC. And here we actually see all of the frames. This is, and see what's going on here. Now the beauty of this is, let's say if I'm right here, let's say at about, they're about 26, frame 26 here. I can come here in my camera view and start to rotate this a little bit. So now if we play this, okay now normally you would not do something just crazy just to have the camera do this but eventually we're going to be adding in a bird to the scene so we're going to be following the bird's flight so this looks pretty decent at this point and last but not least what i want to do is from the very beginning we're going to go over to our advanced animation again And we're using our rotate tool. So I'm going to rotate this ever so slightly, just enough to make it look a little bit off. And then by the end, I'm going to rotate it even more so. Okay. And again, I'm just making sure that I'm not really going outside of my lines here. And you might be thinking, dude, Tony, this so looks awesome. Or you might be thinking, dude, you had no plan. This looks like crap. Well, fun part is this is just an example of showing you what you can do. So by all means, please follow my tutorials. If you don't have Toon Boom Animate, go download the free trial of it, which the trial does not end. Download it. Follow this tutorial. Put something up and respond. Show me something on YouTube. It'd be kind of cool. All right, so this has been part two. Again, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.